Shane Stars with DroidModerX.com and I'm coming to you guys today with a very highly requested video. This is how to use free Wi-Fi tether on the Galaxy Note 2 and also the Galaxy S3. So many of you guys have had lots of problems. Uh, one thing that I'll say right offhand, Fox 5 does work incredibly well with the Galaxy S3 and the Galaxy Note 2. However, those apps cost seven dollars. Uh, so maybe you want to use the Wi-Fi Tether that's free here. Uh, developer Trev E has created a modified version of Wi-Fi Tether. I'll have links to that in the description, but just installing that alone will not work. I know many of you guys have asked me how to get it to work because even with the Trev E mod, you've not been able to get it to work. That was the case for me and I had to do lots of research to actually figure out how to get this working. I've watched a few other guys and they missed one crucial step, so that's what we're going to talk about in this video. So you'll go ahead and download the Wi-Fi Tether. You'll install it and then you can open it here and then we'll go to settings and you'll change the device profile to generic ICS JB uh, WLAN 0 we'll go back and then make sure that um, the setup method here is NETD-NDC master very important and check the box here for send NETD max client CMD and then the step that a lot of people are forgetting here is the Wi-Fi driver reload too. Uh, it forces the Wi-Fi driver reloading before tether script so there's a script that Trevi has included in here uh, in his modification if you don't check this it's not gonna work so make sure that's checked and then down here you want to make sure that you check routing fix when you have all of that set up, uh, the vibrate on connect will be set. It doesn't have to be set. And disable wake lock, uh, that is, you know, that doesn't matter either. It should be already checked or whatever. That Those two things don't matter. The main things here are the device profile, the setup method, uh, this is checked, and this is checked, and then also the routing fix needs to be checked. With all those settings, you should be able to click to start tethering. And then we'll go to the PC. Right now we're connected to my home network, but we're going to go ahead and connect to... We're going to go ahead and connect to the Android Tether. Just to show you guys that it is working. Like I said, I looked at this for several hours. I've been using FoxFi, mm -hmm. and I really had to do some research to get this working. And I finally had figured that part of it out. We are connected, and we'll go ahead and go to speedtest.net. And we'll test our speed so you guys can see that we are on 4G. Now I'm not in the middle of the city or anything, so I normally only get about eight down and two or three up. But that's even better than my DSL. So we'll go ahead and begin the test. And not bad speeds today. That has been how to use free wireless tether on the Galaxy S3, Galaxy Note 2. Uh, thanks guys for watching. You can find more of me at droidmoderx.com where I'll have the latest in Android and tech news. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx. Be sure to subscribe to this channel for more videos like this in the future. Also give this video a big thumbs up if it helps you in any ways. Thanks guys for watching. I will see you in the next one. So the ROM that I have been running now for at least a couple of weeks has been the Smooth ROM. The latest build has been up since December.